actually get to know Master Hua. Because his light is reflected you know, amongst the whole community. And it's not like there's one person has that light. It's actually everyone has a bit of that light. The longer that I've been here, the more and more I understand because I feel more and more grateful to this person who physically I never met, but I feel like I know this person just by the impact that he's had, feeling the energy here and meeting the people and meeting his disciples. So I feel more and more grateful every day because without Master Wad, like I wouldn't have the opportunity to be here. I realized that it wasn't these miraculous kinds of things that made Sherpu my teacher. It was the person that he was and how he conducted himself. He always uses expedient devices and he always used according to conditions teaching. In other words, he look at your situation and teach you according to your situation. And he told me one time, he says, you know, you think I look at people when they come to want to meet me. He says, I, says, I, don't, I don't look at people. I don't even know if they're men or women, or boys or girls or babies or whatever, or even animals, or even if they're humans. He says, I look at their Buddha nature, and I see what can I do to help this person see their Buddha nature. That's the mind of a bodhisattva. And uh, that was the one profound teaching I always got from being near the master.